afternoon. <clears throat> Since we caught a lot of small fish last time, I want to improve my chances to catch bigger fish. So therefore I'm going to uh, see how deep it is. And uh, the logic behind that is that the, the deeper spots in this water will keep the bigger fish. I'm going to use a primitive method of a weight and a float. I'm going to cast it in and uh, then tighten the line until the float is at, at the same depth as the weight and then feed the line. So now we can see the float and I'm going to reel the line in until I feel the resistance of the, the, the weight at the bottom. I can feel the weight so the float is at, at, the, at the level of the, of the weight. Now I'm going to let out line in 30 centimeter measures. One, two, six, seven. The depth of the water is seven times 30, which gives you 210 centimeters. So the depth here varies between 1.8 to 2.1 meters in the center of this water from five meters to the center and then it, it becomes shallower again on the other side. I also have SA Carp Essentials High Nutrient Value Boilies uh, with a SB corn flavor which I'm going to chop up a few of them and also mix it into the ground bait and then I'm going to use it on a hair rig because I'm going to use a corn based ground feed I'm going to use a whole kernel or two or three kernels as the particles on the Eric. For tonight's fishing session I'm going to use a much bigger float because it's going to be weighted down with a heavier weight which run between two swivels and then at the hook end I'm going to use a air rig. This is actually then a combination of specimen angling techniques, bank angling techniques and float fishing. Let's see how it works out for me. To use a air rig you have to have the the boily stoppers or the particle stoppers which prevents the particle or the boily to slide from the, the air rig. You must have a boily needle and or a boily drill which uh, I will use now to show you how to rig up the boily or the air rig. A whole kernel, corn and one tiger nut that has been prepared for this fishing session. Uh, you press the needle through it and then you take the air rig, press it through the noose, slide it over the, the air rig and then put in the stopper. To prevent it from sliding out. So now there we have the bait for the first session of tonight. I'm going to put in ground bait where I've measured it to be 1.8 meters deep and this is only going to be uh, a few particles. Right, the big bait is in, 
Now for the waiting game. This afternoon there's a lot of activity, but mainly small fish. There is some action at the big float, but I think it is small fish trying to get the bait off the hook. They're going to struggle because it's, uh, it's quite hard. Tiger nuts usually keep for a while. To recap on the previous session, the largest we caught was a carp of 30 centimeters. It was caught on whole kernel, corn, and also the largest catfish, which I caught in the evening session, was 50 centimeters, and which was also caught on full kernel corn. From this session onwards, I'm not going to even take pictures of the smaller fish, smaller than that I've caught on the last session, and I will not uh, even mention them. So only fish larger will be recorded. Got it. <laughs> Looks like a decent fish. Larger than the one I caught the other night. We have it in the net. A full 36 centimeters. On the big float there was a little movement but it seems to be small fish. Let's get back here to the action. Ooh. Got a nice one here. Another one. It is the same size, 35, 35 centimeters. So uh, the one was a full scale carp and the other one is a murder carp. This brings us to the end of the third session. Uh, we increased the size of the carp that we caught with five centimeters, but it is not nearly what I think the potential of this water is.